Hello, 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 everyone that's coming in the room or into my periscope. Hi, Diamond. How are you? Okay, so I really don't have much time. Um, hey, Jacole. Hey, 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 everybody. I appreciate you all tuning in. Um, it's going to be a really quick scope. I know that I didn't come to you last week because I actually had to teach. So I hope that you all were able to watch the teaching. I did share it from my, um, my Periscope. So thank you all for coming in. I appreciate you all. Today we're going to talk about part three of, um, Purpose Killers. Oh, thank you, Jacole. Thank you, Jacole. So part three is the quit. So for anyone that is not aware who I am, I am Raven Evans. I'm a biblical counselor and I come and do periscopes on counseling topics um, to kind of disciple and counsel people. So my whole purpose is the soul and making sure that you are healthy. So that's what I get on here and do. Um, today we're going to be talking about purpose killers, like I said. So if you know anyone that could benefit from this, go ahead and share the share this with them and at any time if you feel that anything I'm saying is really you know good and you're really enjoying it just go ahead and tap the screen over and over and over and over and over again thank you <laughs> Jacole. um so I just appreciate each and every one of you and I'm really hoping that my phone does not die because I'm on like 20% so I'm gonna try to plug my charger in hold on one second give me a minute and I hope my phone doesn't like fall. So if it does fall, I'm so sorry. Just know in advance, okay? <laughs> and if you see anyone on here um, that is being distractive, just go ahead and block them. You have my permission to block them, okay? All right, so we're going to start. So purpose killers are basically things that I've been talking about in regards to um, what you're going through that things that you are enduring that can kill your purpose. So first off, we talked about soul ties. Second off, we talked about bad company. And today we're going to be talking about the quit. So quitting on your purpose and on your process is going to kill your purpose. So if you quit on the process that God gets you through and the process that he processes you through, if you quit on that season of your life, then you are killing your purpose. You are killing your purpose. So God will not allow us to fulfill purpose. He will not allow us um, to walk into the fullness of our purpose and walk into the fullness of who we are without processing us first. So you have to go through a process, seasons of processing, you know, in order to really, really kill those things within you that would hinder your purpose, hinder your destiny, and hinder where God wants to take you. So in the process of going through those things that kill, that kill the flesh and going through those things that that's very pressuring and hard to endure, you have to know that after the process comes promotion. So anytime you begin to go into seasons and you feel that there is a lot of processing a lot of pain a lot of dying to the flesh a lot of God killing you um and a lot of God really just dealing with the inner parts of your soul and the inner parts of your heart and really dealing with the inner beings of who you are I can guarantee you that around the corner is a season of promotion or elevation. So we have to respond to process well, not by quitting, not by giving up, not by withdrawing, not by hiding from it, not by running from it. But we have to go in and endure and persevere through the process because through that process, uh, we are birthed into purpose. So just make sure that you block anybody like this person block okay so you know in the process and in those things um you're gonna find that there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of things that weigh down upon you there's a lot of you know pain and and, and dying and you're gonna see that a lot of things begin to surface out of your heart and a lot of hidden areas within you are gonna begin to surface and come and, and begin to manifest through that process and you're gonna see things you know elevating within you and and, and and coming out of you that you weren't aware of places in your heart that you felt like you didn't deal with you know areas that you didn't even know know were occurring in, in, in feelings and emotions and those are all things that begin to come out when God processes you so you'll see a surfacing of things you didn't you know you you um been through in the past and you see that there's still areas and voids and hurt and you know things when people begin to uh get things that you haven't gotten yet you're gonna see that it's even possible that jealousy or envy or those things begin to pour out of your heart because god wants to make sure that when he does promote you that you don't hinder his promotion of you by the emotions and the effects of your past so he has to process you to kill those areas within you so that you're ready 
ready to be able to um, go forth in um your in your purpose and fulfill exactly what he wants to do within you so in that process you can't quit because god is bringing sobriety to you he's transforming you and there is a there's a step-by-step -step process that he's doing to birth you to mold you to shape you into the person that you need to be so that you can accomplish what you need to accomplish on this earth not for yourself but for god his kingdom and the people so a season of process equals a coming season of promotion or elevation so don't become don't become discouraged don't become weighed down don't become overwhelmed by the process but have hope in the fact that around the corner that you can guarantee it is a pattern in the word of God that great things are on the arise, that many things are going to be birthed and great things are to come forth for you and those around you or you know, whatever it is that you're dealing, that you're dealing in or dealing with. So Matthew four and one says, then Jesus has laid, was led by the Holy spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So Jesus himself had to go through temptation, which is a process. He had to go through the process of the wilderness for 40 days before he was promoted, before he went into ministry, before he began to make disciples, before, you know, he was uh, promoted and elevated in what he had to do for this earth. Jesus had to go through process as well. So, and it says that the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness is what it says in the Amplified Version. The Holy Spirit led him. So that means God ordained for you to go through the process. God leads you into the process um, of, of killing the flesh. God leads you into the process of surfacing emotions and feelings and hidden areas of your life, of your heart. God leads you into the process of um, uh, of support sobriety and transformation God leads you there so if God leads you there it means it's ordained by God and he wants it done so he knows that the process is going to help you more than it ever would hurt you so after the process, like I said, Jesus was able to begin his ministry. He was able to uh, make disciples and, and replicate himself. He was able to go forth after he went through the process of being tempted, after he went through the process of, of, of fasting for 40 days, after he went through the process that the father had to put him through. He became ready um, for what God needed him to do on this earth. So Jesus didn't give up and he didn't quit. So, you know, Jesus could have went into the wilderness and he could have said, you know what, Satan, I think I want to go ahead and give in to this temptation because it's too much to bear. You know, Jesus could have went and allowed the temptation to overcome him and then we wouldn't be the people that we are today. He could have quit and gave up on the process, but he did not. And because of that, he saved so many lives because he did not give in to temptation and he did not give in to the process and quit. So when people, um, uh, he could have, uh, uh, came and just, you know, um, Jesus could have allowed the things that he had to endure and the things that uh, surrounded him to overcome him. And he could allow, you know, he came to save us, but those that he came to save began to deny him and they didn't believe that he was the son of God and they didn't believe that he came to, to save them. So he could have said, you know what? Father, all these people, they don't believe me anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit out on this whole process. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I even going through this if they don't even care about, you know, what I came to do? Jesus could have gave up then. He could have gave up when Judas, one of the uh, disciples that was closest to him, decided to deny him and turn his back on him. He could have said, you know what? These people are faulty. You know, this process, I'm out, out here going through all this stuff and I'm going through um, a persecution and they don't even care. You know, they're, they're just easily turning their backs on me. He could have gave in then. He could have gave in when um, he was carrying the cross for our sins. And he could have told the people, you know what? I'm not even the son of God. You're right. I'm not the son of God. Jesus, I opt out. God, I opt out. I don't want to do this anymore. I've decided that this process is too much to bear. The sins of the people are is too much to bear. I don't want to be whipped anymore. I don't want to carry this cross anymore. I don't want stones thrown at me anymore. I don't want people denying me anymore. I don't want to go through this process anymore. I've decided that I'm opting out. Now, if Jesus would have did that, who would you be today? Who would you be today? You wouldn't even exist in the, in the person that you are today if Jesus did not endure the process of uh, <clears throat> allowed himself to go through what God had to put him through to save lives. 
So in your process, when you become weary or you become, you know, faint or you become discouraged about your process, think back on Jesus and what he had to endure. The process that you're going through is minimum compared to what Jesus had to endure, compared to what Jesus had to go through and compared to what Jesus had to uh, persevere through. What you are going through does not compare. So if Jesus was able to hold up the sins of a whole generation, a the sins of all people, then you can endure your process as well and not quit. Jesus didn't quit when he had to carry that cross for you. So you don't quit on him when he allows you to go through a process to make you better. Amen. <laughs> so, um, where would we know? Like I said, where, would, where would we be now? If Jesus quit on his process, we would not be who we are today. So you have to understand that, um, uh, uh, God knows what is best for you. He knows that this is good for you. You know, the word says that it, it pleases him to crush us. So it's, it's something that God knows that we have to go through because of our flesh and because of our heart. You know, the word says that the heart is deceitfully wicked. Who can know it? But God knows what's in your heart. He knows the hidden areas of your heart. He knows your, he knows your thoughts. He knows your fears. He knows, you know, everything that you could ever go through. So he knows what he has to process you in in order to bring you to fullness in order to bring you to wholeness in order to bring you to the fruition of your purpose and your destiny he knows what you need to be processed through in order for you to reach your maximum potential so don't uh, um don't doubt what he's put you do, through don't doubt your process don't doubt of, is this for me god is this something i should have to go through is this a path that i should be taking do i really have to go through this is this really something that i have to endure god please Please take it away from me. But the, the wisest thing a person can do is submit to their process. If you submit to the process, God knows he can trust you. If you don't run out on him, if you don't try to quit on the process, if you don't go hide, if you don't go and say, God, you know what? I don't want this. Lord, take it away. It's too much pain. It's too much for me to bear. You know, I just decided I'm going to opt out. When you don't opt out on God and you begin to say, you know what, God, I know this hurts. I know this is a lot to endure. I know this is going to be a lot of pain for me. There's things in my heart that I didn't even know was in my heart. There's things within me that I didn't even know was within me. There's areas of me that are still broken. There's areas of me that are still fractured, but God, I know this process is going to help me. I will endure this. I yield to you. I yield to you. When you can say that to God, that says to God, I can trust this person because they trust me and they're willingly yielding to me. They're not hiding from me. They're not telling me to remove the pain. They're not uh, telling me that they're not going to do it. They're not quitting on me, but they trust me and, they're, and they trust my process. So when God sees that you're yielded to what he has uh, placed before you and the process that he's putting you through and you're walking in agreement with the process instead of being in um instead of being in disagreement with the process then god knows that he can trust you he can trust a yielded heart um uh, uh the word says in proverbs 29 and 23 a man's pride and sense of self-importance will bring him down but he who has a humble spirit will obtain honor so a prideful man quits a man that says it's about me it's all about me what i want what i think how what i don't want to endure you know what i don't like is what what i don't like is going on it's all about me 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 that's a prideful man i quit on this process because it's not bringing me any joy i quit on this process because i don't see the benefit i quit on this process because god i don't even think you know what you're doing i don't think this is for me that's pride speaking but a man that is yielded a woman that is yielded, a man that is humble, a woman that is humble, you will endure and you and you are worthy of honor. And is what Proverbs 29 and 23 says. It says you will obtain honor. You will obtain honor because you have yielded to the process and you have yielded to what God wants out of you. So my encouragement to you is don't kill your purpose by opting out of the process. You, If you opt out of the process, you are killing your 
your purpose. You are killing that potential that you can uh, possibly fulfill. You are killing the person that God originally created you to be. You have to go through the process and you have to endure. That brings perseverance and that births character. God is doing something within your character. That is why you're going through the process. You have to have a, a steady character. You have to have a sober character. You have to have a stable character. You have to be a man, you know, and woman that is that is worthy of being promoted and elevated. God has to be able to trust you with what he wants to give to you. And how does he learn if he can trust you? He puts you through a process. He puts you through a process. So uh, Jeremiah 17 and 10 says, but I, the Lord, search all hearts and examine secret motives. I give all people their due rewards according to what their actions deserve. So if he tries the heart and he sees and he puts you through this process that you can endure and that he has, uh, uh, be, and he has emptied you out of all things of yourself, he knows now he can give you reward and he can give you what your heart can handle. He was, he's not going to give you more than what you can handle. So the process also measures what you can handle. If you're easily opting out and quitting out on something, he's not going to give you something that's, you know, a lot because he knows that as soon as something gets hard, you're going to run. You're going to easily run and take the, the first exit out. But if he can give you something and you endure and you still trust him and you're still willing to submit to his process and you're still willing to submit to his hand, then he knows he can give you more. He can give you more. He can pour upon you more. He can trust you more. Oh, I can give her this assignment and I can promote her here and I can elevate him there because I know that they're not going to opt out and they're not going to run and they're not going to go hide and they're not going to, you know, <clears throat> go and try to take on something else that was not given to them by me but I can trust them because they are yielded to me and they want what I want for them and they have come in agreement with me and they are coming in line with me and they have traded their hearts for my hearts and they have submitted their wills for my will and they sit at my feet and they want to hear from me that is what God sees and that is what God hears when you are yielded to him and you are willing to go through the process so once again I say don't kill your purpose by opting out of the process don't quit don't give up but continue to endure amen all right so that's all i have i just really wanted to come to you really quick and just give you that um, i want you to be on a lookout for my um my blog which will be coming out at the end of may um, i'm going to give you more information Oh, I love you too, Jacob. I'm going to give you more information when I can, but just be on the lookout for my blog. I really hope that you all will, will support me. It's coming out at the end of May. So thank you all so much for tuning in once again. Um, I appreciate all of you. I really do. If this helped you, blessed you, you heard anything that you liked, you felt this was important, you felt like this was useful, just go ahead and give me hearts. You just cut us up and leave <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacole. That wasn't my point, but I <laughs> I really just wanted to give you that really quickly because um I really enjoy giving these little nuggets on Periscope and and giving um and pouring out what God has placed within me to others to help them because this is all things that I've lived through. So I go from a place and I speak from a place of knowing um the process and what God has done for me. So go ahead and share this with anyone um anyone you feel will benefit. I love you all. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Thanks. Bye.